सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंस ऑडियो बुक बी हाइव लेट इस लिसन टू चैप्टर नंबर एट रीच फॉर द टॉप पार्ट वन संतोष यादव पेज नंबर नाइन्टी नाइन टू वन हंड्रेड एंड थ्री इंट्रोडक्शन दिस यूनिट हैज टू बायोग्राफिकल पीसेस दैट डिपिक्ट परसिस्टेंट इंडेवर्स to reach the top part 2 of this unit is taken from a newspaper the language is very current and idiomatic an exercise of matching words and phrases to their meanings has been given as a pre reading activity to facilitate students' understanding and appreciation of this part of the text In this unit students are asked to imagine that they have to give a speech they may wish to read the texts of well known speeches such as nehru's tryst with destiny a speech is a formal use of spoken language it must be prepared meticulously the language is formal but should be made powerful by the use of balance in the words of kennedy ask not what your country can do for you ask what you can do for your country and in the words of nehru the light has gone out of our lives such imagery and other rhetorical devices it can be enriched by the use of examples and anecdotes The writing task of composing an article for a school magazine can be prepared for by looking at other examples of such articles in newspapers. This task makes a beginning in helping students to write for the print media. Encourage them to work within a given word limit such as 500 words or 1000 words. and to use everyday contemporary language help students to write a description of santosh yadav's character by drawing their attention to her background likes and dislikes her humanity and her contribution to society before you read think for a while and make a list of 3 to 5 persons you idolize or admire very much for their achievements your idols may be from any sphere of life sports medicine media or art and culture your teacher will then discuss your choices with you to find out who the top 5 idols of your class are now let us listen to part 1 of chapter 8 reach for the top santosh yadav paragraph 1 the only woman in the world who has killed mount everest twice was born in a society where the birth of a son was regarded as a blessing and a daughter though not considered a curse was not generally welcome when her mother was expecting santosh a traveling holy man giving her his blessing assumed that she wanted a son but to everyone's surprise the unborn child's grandmother who was standing close by told him that they did not want a son the holy man was also surprised nevertheless he gave the requested blessing and as destiny would have it the blessing seemed to work Santosh was born the sixth child in a family with five sons a sister to five brothers she was born in the small village of Joniawas of Rewari district in Haryana paragraph 2 the girl was given the name Santosh which means contentment but Santosh was not always content with her place in a traditional way of life She began living life 
on her own terms from the start. Where other girls wore traditional Indian dresses, Santosh preferred shorts. Looking back, she says now, from the very beginning, I was quite determined that if I chose a correct and a rational path, the others around me had to change, not me. Paragraph 3 Santosh's parents were affluent landowners who could afford to send their children to the best schools, even to the country's capital, New Delhi, which was quite close by. But in line with the prevailing custom in the family, Santosh had to make do with the local village school. So she decided to fight the system in her own quiet way when the right moment arrived. And the right moment came when she turned 16. At 16, most of the girls in her village used to get married. Santosh was also under pressure from her parents to do the same. Paragraph 4 A marriage as early as that was the last thing on her mind. She threatened her parents that she would never marry if she did not get a proper education. She left home and got herself enrolled in a school in Delhi. When her parents refused to pay for her education, she politely informed them of her plans to earn money by working part-time to pay her school fees. Her parents then agreed to pay for her education. Paragraph 5 Wishing always to study a bit more and with her father slowly getting used to her urge for more education, Santosh passed the high school examinations and went to Jaipur. She joined Maharani College and got a room in Kasturba Hostel. Santosh remembers, Kasturba Hostel faced the Aravali Hills. She joined Maharani College and got a room in Kasturba Hostel. Santosh remembers, Kasturba Hostel faced the Aravali Hills. I used to watch villagers from my room going up the hill and suddenly vanishing after a while. One day, I decided to check it out myself. I found nobody except a few mountaineers. I asked if I could join them. To my pleasant surprise, they answered in the affirmative and motivated me to take to climbing. Paragraph 6 then there was no looking back for this determined young girl. She saved money and enrolled in a course at Uttarkashi's Nehru Institute of Mountaineering. My college semester in Jaipur was to end in April, but it ended on the 19th of May and I was supposed to be in Uttarkashi on the 21st. So I did not go back home. Instead, I headed straight for the training. I had to write a letter of apology to my father without whose permission I had got myself enrolled at Uttarkashi. Paragraph 7 Thereafter, Santosh went on an expedition every year. Her climbing skills matured rapidly. Also, she developed a remarkable resistance to cold and the altitude. Equipped with an iron will, physical endurance, and an amazing mental toughness, she proved herself repeatedly. The culmination of her hard work and sincerity came in 1992, just four years after she had shyly asked the Aravali mountaineers if she could join them. At barely 20 years of age, Santosh Yadav scaled Mount Everest, becoming the youngest woman in the world to achieve the feat. If her climbing skills physical fitness and mental strength impressed her seniors, her concern for others and desire to work together with them found her a special place in the hearts of fellow climbers. Paragraph 8 During the 1992 Everest mission, Santosh Yadav provided special care to a climber who lay dying at the South Call. She was unfortunately unsuccessful in saving him. However, 
she managed to save another climber mohan singh who would have met with the same fate had she not shared her oxygen with him paragraph 9 within 12 months santosh found herself a member of an indo nepalese women's expedition that invited her to join them she then scaled the everest a second time thus setting a record as the only woman to have scaled the everest twice and securing for herself and india a unique place in the annals of mountaineering in recognition of her achievements the indian government bestowed upon her one of the nation's top honors the padma shri paragraph 10 describing her feelings when she was literally on top of the world santosh has said it took some time for the enormity of the moment to sink in then i unfurled the indian tricolor and held it aloft on the roof of the world the feeling is indescribable the indian flag was flying on top of the world it was truly a spiritual moment i felt proud as an indian also a fervent environmentalist santosh collected and brought down 500 kilograms of garbage from the himalayas word meanings in line with means following or in accordance with according to the last thing means the least important thing check it out means find out the truth headed straight for means went towards top honors means highest awards the enormity of the moment means a very great moment sink in means be understood held it aloft means held it up high fervent means having strong and sincere feelings thinking about the text first part answer these questions in one or two sentences each the paragraph numbers within brackets provide clues to the answers one why was the holy man who gave santosh's mother his blessings surprised paragraph 1 two give an example to show that even as a young girl santosh was not ready to accept anything unreasonable paragraph 2 3 Why was Santosh sent to the local school? Paragraph three, four. When did she leave home for Delhi, and why? Paragraph four, five. Why did Santosh's parents agree to pay for her schooling in Delhi? What mental qualities of Santosh are brought into light by this incident? Paragraph four. Second part. Answer each of these questions in a short paragraph of about thirty words. One, how did Santosh begin to climb mountains? Two, what incidents during the Everest expedition show Santosh's concern for her teammates? Three, what shows her concern for the environment? Four, how does she describe her feelings at the summit of the Everest? Five, Santosh Yadav. got into the record books both times she scaled mount everest what were the reasons for this third part complete the following statements one from her room in kasturba hostel santosh used to blank to when she finished college santosh had to write a letter of apology to her father because blank three During the Everest expedition her seniors in the team admired her blank while blank endeared her to her fellow climbers fourth part pick out words from the text that mean the same as the following words or expressions look in the paragraphs indicated one took to be true without proof paragraph 1 blank two based on reason sensible reasonable paragraph 2 blank 3 
the usual way of doing things. Paragraph 3. Blank. 4. A strong desire arising from within. Paragraph 5. Blank. 5. The power to endure without falling ill. Paragraph 7. Blank. Let us listen to Part 2. Maria Sharapova. Page number 104 to 109. Before you read, a Russian girl, Maria Sharapova, reached the summit of women's tennis when she was barely 18. As you read about her, see if you can draw a comparison between her and Santosh Yadav. Match the following. Column A contents 1. Something disarming 2. At odds with 3. Glamorous attire 4. In almost no time 5. Poised beyond her ears 6. Packed off 7. Launched 8. Heart-wrenching Column B contents 1. Quickly, almost immediately 2. More calm, confident and in control than people of her age usually are. 3. In contrast to Not agreeing with 4. Something that makes you feel friendly taking away your suspiciousness 5. Scent of 6. Attractive and exciting clothes 7. Causing strong feelings of sadness 8. Started As you read, look for the answers to these questions. Why was Maria sent to the United States? Why didn't her mother go with her? What are her hobbies? What does she like? What motivates her to keep going? Now let us listen to Part 2 Maria Sharapova Paragraph 1 There is something disarming about Maria Sharapova Something at odds with her ready smile and glamorous attire and that something in her lifted her on Monday, 22nd August 2005 to the world number one position in women's tennis. All this happened in almost no time. Poised beyond her years, the Siberian-born teenager took just four years as a professional to reach the pinnacle. Paragraph 2 However, the rapid Ascent in a fiercely competitive world began nine years before with a level of sacrifice few children would be prepared to endure. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday when she was packed off to train in the United States. That trip to Florida with her father Yuri launched her on the path to success and stardom, but it also required a heart-wrenching two-year separation from her mother, Yelena. The latter was compelled to stay back in Siberia because of visa restrictions. The nine-year-old girl had already learned an important lesson in life that tennis excellence would only come at a price. Paragraph 3 I used to be so lonely, Maria Sharapova recalls. I missed my mother terribly. My father was working as much as he could to keep my tennis training going, so he couldn't see me either. Paragraph 4 Because I was so young, I used to go to bed at 8 p.m. The other tennis pupils would come in at 11 p.m. and make me up and order me to tidy up the room and clean it. Paragraph 5 Instead of letting that depress me, I became more quietly determined and mentally tough. I learnt how to take care of myself. I never thought of quitting because I knew what I wanted. When you come from nothing and you have nothing, then it makes you very hungry and determined. I would have put up with much more humiliation and insults than that to steadfastly pursue my dream. Paragraph 6 that toughness runs through Maria even today. It was the key to her bagging the women's 
singles crown at Wimbledon in 2004 and to her meteoric rise to the world number one spot the following year. Paragraph 7 While her journey from the frozen plains of Siberia to the summit of women's tennis has touched the hearts of tennis fans, for the youngster herself there appears to be no room for sentiment. The straight looks and the answers she gives when asked about her ambition make it amply clear that she considers the sacrifices were worth it. I am very, very competitive. I work hard at what I do. It's my job. This is her mantra for success. Paragraph 8 Though Maria Sharapova speaks with a pronounced American accent, she proudly parades her Russian nationality. Clearing all doubts, she says, I'm Russian. It's true that the US is a big part of my life. But I have Russian citizenship. My blood is totally Russian. I'll play the Olympics for Russia if they want me. Paragraph 9 Like any number of teenage sensations, Maria Sharapova lists fashion, singing and dancing as her hobbies. She loves reading the novels of Arthur Conan Doyle. Her fondness for sophisticated evening gowns appears at odds with her love of pancakes with chocolate, spread and fizzy orange drinks. Paragraph 10 Maria Sharapova cannot be pigeonholed or categorized. Her talent, unwavering desire to succeed and readiness to sacrifice have lifted her to the top of the world. Few would grudge her the riches she is now reaping. This is what she has to say about her monetary gains from tennis. Of course, money is a motivation. Tennis is a business and a sport. But the most important thing is to become number one in the world. That's the dream that kept me going. Word meanings. Thinking about the text. Working in small groups of four to five students, go back over the two passages on Santosh Yadav and Maria Sharapova and complete the table given below with relevant phrases or sentences. Column 1. Points of comparison or contrast. Column 2. Santosh Yadav. Column 3. Maria Sharapova. Column 1 contents 1. Their humble beginning. 2. Their parents' approach. 3. Their willpower and strong desire to succeed. 4. Evidence of their mental toughness. 5. Their patriotism. Thinking about language. Look at the following sentences. They each have two clauses or two parts, each with their own subject and verb or verb phrase. Often, one part, which is italicized, tells us when or why something happened. I reached the market when most of the shops had closed. Tells us when I reached. When Rahul Dravid walked back towards the pavilion, everyone stood up. Tells us when everyone stood up. The telephone rang and Ganga picked it up. Tells us what happened next. Gunjan has been with us ever since the school began. Tells us for how long he has been with us. First part, identify the two parts in the sentences below by underlining the part that gives us the information in brackets as shown above. 1. Where other girls wore traditional Indian dresses, Santosh preferred shorts. Bracket start. Contrasts her dress with that of others. Bracket close. 2. She left home and got herself enrolled in a school in Delhi. Bracket start. Tells us what happened 
after the first action bracket close 3 she decided to fight the system when the right moment arrived bracket start tells us when she was going to fight the system 4 little maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday when she was packed off to train in the united states bracket start tells us when maria was sent to the us bracket close second part now rewrite the pairs of sentences given below as one sentence one grandfather told me about the old days all books were printed on paper then two what do you do after you finish the book perhaps you just throw it away three he gave the little girl an apple he took the computer apart four you have nothing that makes you very determined five i never thought of quitting i knew what i wanted dictation read the passage once then close your books your teacher will dictate the story to you write it down with the correct punctuation and paragraphing the passage has been translated by james malholland the raincoat after 4 years of drought in a small town in the northeast the vicar gathered everyone together for a pilgrimage to the mountain where they would pray together and ask for the rain to return the priest noticed a boy in the group wearing a raincoat have you gone mad he asked it hasn't rained in this region for 5 years the heat will kill you climbing the mountain i have a cold father if we are going to ask god for rain can you imagine the way back from the mountain it's going to be such a downpour that i need to be prepared at that moment a great crash was heard in the sky and the first drops began to fall a boy's faith was enough to bring about a miracle that not even those most prepared truly believed in speaking imagine that you are santosh yadav or maria sharapova you have been invited to speak at an all india girls athletic meet as chief guest prepare a short speech to motivate the girls to think and dream big and make an effort to fulfill their dreams not allowing difficulties or defeat to discourage them the following words and phrases may help you one self confident or confidence or sure of yourself two self assured or assurance or belief in yourself three morale or boost morale or raise morale four giving somebody a boost or philip or lift five demoralizing or unsure of yourself or insecure or lack confidence writing working in pairs go through the table below that gives you information about the top women tennis players since 1975 write a short article for your school magazine comparing and contrasting the players in terms of their duration at the top mention some qualities that you think may be responsible for their brief or long stay at the top spot top ranked women players 1 the role of honor of women who enjoyed life at the summit since everybody's favorite player chris evert 
took her place in 1975. Column 1, name. Column 2, ranked on. Column 3, weeks as number 1. 1. Maria Sharapova, Russia. Ranked on 22nd August 2005. Remained number 1 for 1 week. 2. Lindsay Davenport, US. Ranked on October 2004. Remained number one for eighty-two weeks. Three, Amelie Moresmo, France. Ranked on thirteen September two thousand four. Remained number one for five weeks. Four, Justin Henin Harden, Belgium. Ranked on twentieth October two thousand three. Remained number one for forty-five weeks. Five, Kim. Klitsters, Belgium, ranked on eleventh August two thousand three, remained number one for twelve weeks. Six, Serena Williams, U.S., ranked on eighth July two thousand two, remained number one for fifty seven weeks. Seven, Venus Williams, U.S., ranked on twenty fifth February two thousand two. Remained number one for eleven weeks. Eight, Jennifer Capriati, U.S., ranked on fifteenth October two thousand one. Remained number one for seventeen weeks. Lindsay Davenport, U.S., ranked on twelfth October nineteen ninety eight. Remained number one for eighty two weeks. Ten, Martina Hingis, Switzerland. Ranked on thirty first March nineteen ninety seven, remained number one for two hundred nine weeks. Eleven, Aranxa Sanchez Vicario, Spain, ranked on sixth February nineteen ninety five, remained number one for twelve weeks. Twelve, Monica Seles, U.S., ranked on eleventh March nineteen ninety one. Remained number one for one seventy eight weeks. Thirteenth, Steffi Graf, Germany, ranked on seventeenth August nineteen eighty seven, remained number one for three hundred and seventy seven weeks. Fourteen, Tracy Austin, U.S., ranked on seventh April nineteen eighty, remained number one for twenty two weeks. Fifteen. Martina Navratilova, U.S., ranked on tenth July nineteen seventy eight, remained number one for three hundred and thirty one weeks. Sixteen, Chris Evert, U.S., ranked on third November nineteen seventy five, remained number one for three hundred and sixty two weeks. Second, which of these words would you use to describe Santosh Yadav? Find reasons in the text to support your choices, and write a couple of paragraphs describing Santosh's character. The words are: contented, determined, resourceful, polite, adventurous, considerate, weak-willed, fearful, independent, pessimistic, patient. persevering you were just listening to this chapter from beehive presented by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india